A surgery like no other that medical experts are calling a game changer for transplants. Patient David Bennett had terminal heart disease, but wasn't a good candidate for a human heart donation. Instead, he got a pig heart. The fact that it's a historic landmark in organ transplantation, I mean, the fact that we can take a genetically engineered pig and put it into a human being and save their life is something that we dreamed about 25 years ago. Doctors and scientists have been working on what's known as xenotransplantation for decades, putting tissue or organs into a human from another species. And a pig kidney was successfully transplanted into a patient in New York in October. Scientists in Maryland have worked out how to modify 10 genes in a pig's heart. That's to make sure it doesn't trigger antibodies to reject the transplant. We'll keep growing once it's implanted. We'll have these organs available. We, we, we can, you know, uh, we have the technique of genetically modifying. So if there are more tweaking required for, for modifying the genes, we, can, we, we, will, we will be able to do that and, you know, can, can you know, customize basically the heart for or the organ for the patient. However, bioethicists say there are still issues that need to be considered for the individual's and the animal's welfare. Plus, there's the serious potential of as yet unknown viruses spreading from animals to humans. We should be very, very concerned about the unknown and unquantifiable risks of setting off another pandemic, of having something unusual happen, of a virus being transmitted through that transplant to that human patient, and then that human patient going on to infect other humans. The heart recipient in this recent case, Bennett, has also served time in prison for a violent crime. But the University of Maryland Medical Center said his criminal background doesn't stop him from getting care. They released a statement saying all patients are worthy of care and compassion. And as healthcare leaders, we have a duty to use our expertise, skills and training to save lives. In the United States alone, 17 people die every day waiting for an organ transplant, which works out to more than 6,000 patients dying every year who could have been saved. This new breakthrough in genetically modified pig organs has the potential to save many lives, which for many people is the main motivating factor above and beyond other debates in xenotransplantation. Caroline Malone, CGTN, Washington.